The Magic Millions on the Gold Coast has grown in stature over the years to become more than just a horse sale. It's a barometer for the economy, a place for Southerners to be seen and heard, an event where dreams are made and legends are created. For a week in January, starting with the polo and ending with one of the richest days racing on the Australasian racing calendar, it's the place to be. Sunlight for the millions. Sunlight won it brilliantly by three lengths, two fullers of boot. The Gold Coast Magic Millions is a party for some, but it can also be a place of hard work and high stakes. Welcome to Road to Millions. We're a day out from the Magic Million sales starting, so we thought it a good idea to catch up with the yearlings we are following on Road to Millions and the teams that expel so much time and effort to get them there. As is tradition, the 2019 Carnival is launched with tremendous fanfare on the beach at Surface Paradise. After the country's best jockeys take part in a race up the beach, the barrier draws for the two and three year old races are held with some help from royalty of the British and also the rugby league kind. I grew up with the horses and especially the race horses. I, I was working at the racetrack in Innisfail when I was about 12 years old and well, then football took over. There is plenty of racing royalty around too. Kieran Ma has the favourite for the two-year-old Magic Millions Classic and is loving the whole spectacle. Oh, how can you not? It's a holiday destination and uh, everyone's here this time of year. Um, you know, we've had great success in the in the winter carnival. It's, uh, I can't say a bad word about it. Oh, I love getting here. Godolphin CEO Vin Cox played his own part in getting the Magic Millions to where it is today and is enjoying the event from his new perspective. You know, it's, it's very exciting to have a horse in the race. Um, yeah, it, that's not easy to do and we've got a live chance and if we happen to knock it off, I, just, I don't know what'll happen, but it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Meanwhile, back at the sale yard, Steve Morley and Scott McAlpine and their respective teams have arrived on the Gold Coast, cautiously optimistic in the knowledge they have done everything possible for their horses and nothing has been left to chance. It's been a long road getting these babies to this point and fingers crossed they will all soon be heading off with new owners to start exciting racing careers. You know, we travelled seven horses down here for sale and all horses have travelled well. The three that uh, this show is following are all well and been parading well and behaving themselves. There's plenty of buyers here, but there's also plenty of horses here. It's now at the point where nearly everybody's gone through and they've looked at all the horses on the grounds. Um, so if they're, they're pulling a horse out of a box at this stage, then uh, you know that somebody's like them. At this stage, I always feel the same, which is extremely anxious. So, <laughs> um, look, even though I have confidence in our horses, you, you never know. You, you really don't know. So I'm comfortable that I've bought good, strong racehorses to this sale. We'll see if the buying bench agrees as we get closer. It's typical that from the Monday, two days out from the sale even beginning, those with a keen eye, eager to purchase, will be here. Everything they've seen on paper needs to be confirmed in the flesh, and the hard grind is now on to get the yearlings in front of as many interested parties as possible before their date with the gavel. Scott McAlpine from Eureka says it's been non-stop for his team. We've got a good, great bunch of yearlings to parade. They're popular. Uh, everybody's there looking at them. Um, hopefully they like what they see. And, um, and it just keeps getting stronger every day. The horses are settled into it even more now. They're actually performing even more, more relaxed. They know what the routine is now. and They're just um, they're running it like clockwork at the minute, so that's good. Um, so then we go in for the crunch. We go up on the ring and then it all that, that minute and a half that we're up there is critical to us to see whether we can come out in front or whether we still own the horse. Louis Le Matea from Astute Bloodstock is just one of a number of interested parties getting in early to look at our crop going through this year and he just loves the event. Magic Millions do a great job. They promote racing, they promote the sport, they promote the buyers, they promote the vendors and, and, uh, and, and the race day is just sensational, you know. I'm French and, and uh, French racing is very good over there, but Australians can market the sport to, uh, to everybody, you know. Here it appeals to rich guys, but also appeals to every Tom, Dick and Harry. There's people who buy into a horse, they, they know nothing about racing, but you might have a billionaire who owns 50% of a horse and another might make the plumber who owns 2% in the same horse. And they get to meet, they've got a passion in common and it's, it's a great industry. Yeah. And it's also a very good leveller because there's million dollar horses that turn out to be slow and there's $20,000 horses that turn out to be good. If 
only these blokes knew the fuss they are creating with people flying from all over the country and all over the world in the lead up to auction time. One of our cults has caught Louis' eye and he's showing some interest in getting to know some more about Morgan. Glenn Logan's Pride of Dubai Morganza cult. I've looked at every horse on the complex. I've probably selected about 15% of the horses to look again. And uh, for my second looks, I want to see him again and compare him with the top 5% of the sale, really, or 2% of the sale, you know. But I think he's a lovely horse. He's making good race horse and a nice athlete. Yes! Next time on Road to Millions, it's auction time and the pressure is on. We'll take you there for incredible moments. And we catch up with Miss Magic Millions herself, Katie Page, to talk about the origins of this amazing event. Just how much will the brother to Boom Sara sell for? You'll find out when Road to Millions returns. See you then.